So yesterday I was driving so and this guy, I was weekend, coming to the and uh, traffic light, it was full green for me, and the going guy along, was honking and our boat, behind me, and we saw this other boat that's coming along in the other direction, over, and, and we were like, hey, we're just starting to wave at them, and wait, have you ever been in this situation, having a conversation with somebody where neither of you seems to be listening or understanding what the other person is saying? It happens to everyone from time to time, uh, but usually people manage to have more or less orderly conversations when the one person speaking at a time. The amazing thing is that we seem to be almost born with this ability of communicating in turns. Babies do it before they even learn how to speak. But turn-taking is not a uniquely human feature. It was found in insects, amphibians, birds and many mammalian species. In most cases, however, it was shown to exist only in paired context. But what about when there are three, four or more individuals together? In this work, we try to answer this question by looking at vocal interactions in meerkat groups. Meerkats are social mongooses, originating mainly from the Kalahari Desert in South Africa. They are a communal species, living in tight groups and communicating using a wide repertoire of calls. Most of their behavior is accompanied by calls, some of them being highly functional and context-specific. In the wild, meerkats often spend time warming up in the sun in the mornings near their sleeping burrow before starting their daily foraging. While sunning, meerkats often emit sunning calls, which are highly specific to this particular context. Not only is this call type the predominant one emitted while meerkats are sunning, but it is also almost exclusively given in a social context. This means that the meerkat sunning on its own is not likely to produce sunning calls. However, if other individuals are present, the chances of that meerkat producing sunning calls will increase. Sunning calls are a form of social communication where we hypothesize that meerkats will take turns in producing them. We predicted that they will avoid overlapping the calls of their groupmates, despite often calling in very large groups, allowing all the group members to hear and be heard without interference. We analyzed meerkat sunning call recordings taken at the Kalahai Research Center in South Africa and looked at how often meerkats overlap their groupmates in these recordings. Then we compared these real overlap rates to simulated overlap rates generated by shifting the times of a meerkat call relative to its neighbors. We found that the natural overlap rate between calls was significantly lower than the overlap rate in the shifted calls. This indicates that meerkats avoid overlapping their group members and effectively take turns in emitting sunny calls. To try to understand how meerkats manage to avoid overlap, we looked at the precise timing of an individual's calls relative to its groupmates. We found that meerkats tend to suppress their calling over the short term immediately after they hear their groupmates calling. However, hearing their conspecifics call actually elevates their call rates over a longer time scale. The combination of short term suppression and long term enhancement of calling allows both overlap avoidance and social stimulation to coexist. It's been stated that self organized turn taking is favored only in small groups of three or fewer participants, and that larger groups require advanced turn allocation or dividing up into smaller subgroups. In contrast, our results suggest that turn-taking can be maintained in unrestricted vocal interactions with well above three participants. Turn-taking might also have additional functions beyond the sphere of communication. In humans, it has been termed an interaction engine that creates connection and bond through a coordinated interaction. So now we know that meerkats tend to take turns when calling and avoid overlapping with one another, even in pretty large groups. Uh, yeah. So then can we say maybe that uh, turn-taking human conversations uh, has its origins with animal and vocal interactions? Well, not necessarily, but I do think it's plausible that turn-taking in animal and human vocal interactions might have similar functions, for example, bonding and social organization. Cool stuff.